Hi everyone. Uh, it's great to be with you today. It's Monday, uh, May 18th. Uh, the Lord is with us uh, and we get to connect this way. We give thanks to God and praise his name for that. Um, I thought this week we'd start uh, with, the, with a psalm or a part of the psalm. Uh, and the psalm is number 77. It starts like this. Uh, I cried out to God for help. I cried out to God to hear me. Uh, so he, he's crying out to God. And he says, I've been doing this a long time. All right, I'm, I'm waiting for you to act here. I've been doing this a long time. When I was in distress, I sought the Lord. At night, I stretched out untiring hands and my soul refused to be comforted. Maybe you're kind of relating to this about now. God, come on, I've been praying. I've been waiting for you. I'm, I'm really getting tired. It's really getting long what we have to go through this COVID-19. I know this week, um, I've, I've talked to some people, and it, it's just getting frustratingly long, uh, and and uh, things are hard. And and that's what the psalmist is saying. In fact, he writes on. He says, "I remembered you, O God, and I groaned. I mused, and my spirit grew faint. Uh, again, God, I know you're there, but I I don't see you acting, and it's hard. Huh? That that's what he's saying. Uh, you kept my eyes from closing. I was too troubled to speak." I thought about the former days, the years of long ago. I remembered my songs in the night. So I thought about better days. <laughs> and I thought, how long has it been since I've seen a good day? Huh? How long has it been since I haven't had to deal with what I'm dealing with right now? And again, maybe you can relate to this. I just think with a lot of people, it seems to be really trying on them now, this COVID-19 situation and, and, and the things that we have to live with and the frustrations and the length of it. Uh, and, and you're just waiting for God to do something, uh, and, and you're trying to find strength every day, and that's what the psalmist is saying. It's getting so hard uh, with whatever he's dealing with. Uh, we, we can relate to that, I think, and he could relate to us. It goes on, my heart mused and my spirit inquired, will the Lord reject forever? Will he never show his favor, his grace to me again? He, has his unfailing love vanished forever? Has his promise failed for all time? Has God forgotten to be merciful? Has he in anger withheld his compassion? And the answer to all these things is no. Uh, God is God. He doesn't change. Uh, it says in Malachi, I am the Lord, I change not. His grace and his mercy and his love and his acting on our behalf, turning everything to our good, says in Romans 8. Uh, even when we can't see it with these eyes, even when it seems like that's not the case, that's not true. Because God stands, his word is true, his love surrounds us, right? Uh, and so what happens is we start to doubt that. Uh, and, and the psalmist here is saying is, is saying something that he knows isn't true, but it feels like it, right? And uh, the psalms are great for that. Uh, and God, notice, doesn't shut him down. He said uh, he just uh, he hears us, and we say, Lord, this is what it feels like. It feels like you're far away. It feels like you're not acting on my behalf. It, it come on, uh, we we do something. So he's struggling with this. His proper response. Maybe you're struggling with that too. Uh, and and this is where it takes him finally. Then I thought. To this I will appeal. I will appeal to the Most High and the years that I spent at his right hand in his blessing. Uh, and then he goes on. What he meant by this was this. He says here, I will remember the deeds of the Lord. So he's going to remember the deeds of the Lord. That's going to be his response. Not to sit there and think that God isn't with him, but to remember when he saw God with him, right, in ways that he could see. And now he has to walk by faith, but he's going to remember God's deeds. And he says, I remember the deeds of the Lord. Yes, I will remember your miracles of long ago. I will meditate on all your works, all your works, and consider all your deeds. So he's going to meditate on these things. These are the things he's going to think about to get him through this time. Uh, that's pretty good advice. What can we meditate on uh, to get us through this time? Meditate is to focus on. Uh, we can focus on every good thing that God has brought into our lives. Um, we that live in this time can especially focus on, on Jesus himself, the, the fully revealed grace of God, right? Uh, God himself becoming one of us, taking on uh, the, our hurt and pain and sickness, uh, we can focus on his heart revealed as he would stop to heal the lepers uh, and the lame of the sick and the dying. Um, and we can focus on his cross uh, and on his empty tomb. We can focus on his great victory for his heart and his great victory for us. Uh, and we can meditate on that every day. And we can remind ourselves that it may seem as if God is far away. 
may seem that he's not acting on behalf, but it's not true because Jesus Christ has come. He died and he rose again and his words stand and he says, I'm with you always to the end of the age. And in Romans, his word tells us he works everything for our good. And in that reality, we can come to God in prayer, lay our hearts before him uh, and with great joy know he is with us. So let, let's pray. Um, uh, dearest Father, we thank you for these words of the psalmist. We don't know what he was going through in his life, uh, but these words were written so that we could see that, um, that, that we can relate to his struggle and the place your spirit brought him to meditate on your works. Uh, and you would bring us to the same place. In these dark times, in the special, in the especially in the dark times of our of us personally in our individual lives, we pray that your Spirit would um, would put our eyes, would put our faith on Jesus, on what you have done for us in Him, and that we might rest in His promises. I'm with you always, um, and, and I'll never leave you nor forsake you. Uh, we pray in your most blessed name. Amen. It's good to be with you today. Uh, we'll see you again tomorrow, and may God be with you. And remember, no matter what it seems like, God is at work for you, and he is going to bring us through this. Uh, amen.